Nauda is one of the villages of Maheshpur Upazila of Chinaida district. Although there are various occupations that people of Nauda village are involved in, most of them are engaged in making imitation gold jewellery. Some of them supply raw materials for jewellery. Some of them make dices for the ornaments. Some are involved in dyeing of jewellery after washing them with zinc water. Some are involved in galvanising them with golden colour. The factory owners collect raw materials from the shops and distribute these materials to the artisans of the villages. The artisan work full time for making ornaments. One can notice this activity of ornaments making when he enters the narrow lanes from highways. The raw materials of ornaments are seen everywhere, almost in every house of the village. Every member of the family remains busy in making different ornaments like earrings, necklaces, anklets, etc. These scenes of the villages were very uncommon in the recent past. Though there were a little efforts to improve the condition of this economic activity, the market of these products was limited and entrepreneurs could not be benefited to the expected level due to lack of quality, diversity in designs and efforts in market expansion. In this context, PKSF undertook a value chain sub-project titled Imitation Gold Jewellery Production and Marketing under its Promoting Agricultural Commercialization and Enterprises PACE project, supported by International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD. This value chain sub-project is being implemented through Shishu Niloy Foundation, SNF, a partner organization of PKSF. This value chain sub-project is providing support and services to the entrepreneurs for improving quality of products, diversifying designs, increasing durability of the products and linking with wider markets. Besides, technologies and modern equipments are being given to the entrepreneurs to compete in the markets. The imitation gold ornaments are now supplied to 40 to 45 districts of the country. Besides, entrepreneurs are reaping benefits of linkage with wholesalers established through the sub-project. Besides the male workers, the number of women workers are increasing in this subsector as the demand of imitation gold ornaments are increasing with time. Even some poor students join the work at their leisure time when they find time. By working, they can earn money to afford their studentship. The monthly income of a worker now is ranging from 10 to 12,000 taka, which was much less previously.